This week in AI has been wild. I tracked over 100 updates, but only 11 are absolute game changers. Let's dive in. Okay, I think Mark Zuckerberg just low-key ended smartphones. Like, not in 10 years, not someday in the metaverse. Right now, this week at MetaConnect 2025. And the craziest part? Most people think it was just about some upgraded AR glasses. But no, this was so much bigger. Zuck basically came out and said, we are building 10 different ways to make your phone useless. Let me show you what just dropped. It's insane. First up, Ray-Ban Meta 2.0. Looks almost identical to last year's version, right? But inside, double the battery. 3K video recording literally puts your iPhone to shame. But here's where it gets wild. They added something called conversation focus. Imagine this, you're at a loud cafe, music playing, people chatting. You tap your glasses and suddenly your friend's voice gets louder and everything else fades out. It's like giving someone a volume knob. Basically, AirPods Pro's transparency mode, but on beast mode. Then, they casually drop this live AI assistant. And no, it's not, hey Siri, what's the weather? This thing stays active for two hours. It's always listening, learning your behavior, and predicting what you need before you even ask. Like, I don't know whether to be amazed or mildly terrified. But yeah, it's basically having your own Jarvis whispering in your ear all day. Next, Oakley Meta Vanguard. This one's for the runners, cyclists, people who hate phones bouncing around during workouts. 122 degree wide angle camera, waterproof, syncs with Strava and Garmin automatically. So now you go for a run and come back with a full documentary of it. Okay, but this was the moment my jaw dropped. Ray-Ban display. They literally put a 5,000 nit micro display inside normal looking glasses. You could wear them to brunch and people wouldn't even know. 42 pixels per degree. That's sharper than the Quest 3. And yeah, videos floating in your vision as you walk. No bulky headset, no weird goggles, just straight up sci-fi in sunglasses form. Then they went full black mirror. This wristband they call the neural band, it reads your muscle signals. So if you pinch your fingers, it clicks. Rotate your wrist, it scrolls. You're not touching anything, but you're controlling everything. Nobody around you even sees it happening. You're just silently navigating the world like a psychic ninja. Travelers, you're gonna love this. Someone speaks Spanish, you see English subtitles floating in your lens. Instantly, no need to pull out Google Translate, no awkward pauses, just seamless conversation anywhere in the world. And then it got straight up cinematic. They dropped Horizon Studio, you scan your room and the space around you literally transforms. This isn't editing, it's real-time reality remixing. All of this starts at $799. Sales of the Ray-Ban Meta glasses already tripled this year. This isn't a Vision Pro competitor. This is Meta trying to replace your phone altogether. And honestly, after watching that keynote, I kinda think they might pull it off. If this is where AR is in 2025, we're about to see the wildest platform shift since the iPhone. So, OpenAI just did something that no human team could. They got a perfect score at ICPC, 12 out of 12 problems. The best human team, they got 11 out of 12. OpenAI beat them all. ICPC, by the way, is the Olympics of programming. This happened on September 4th in Baku, Azerbaijan. 139 university teams, 5 hours, 12 problems. You either get it perfect or you get nothing. So here's how OpenAI did it. They used two models. GPT-5 solved the first 11 problems. No problem, first try every time. But for the 12th problem, GPT-5 hit a wall. So they brought in this experimental reasoning model and after nine tries, they cracked it. One human team solved it in three tries. OpenAI needed nine, but they got it. Now, here's the crazy part. Problem C, it stumped every single human team. 139 teams, none of them solved it. But Google's Gemini solved it in 30 minutes. And guess what? OpenAI did too. Oh, and get this, Jakub Pachocki, OpenAI's chief scientist, tweeted his congratulations. Guess what? He won ICPC gold in 2012. The guy who built the AI that just crushed ICPC. He used to compete in it himself. Kinda wild, right? If AI had its own ranking, it would have been first, OpenAI, 12 of 12. Second, Google Gemini, 10 of 10. 12th, third, St. Petersburg University, 11 of 12. This week, someone spotted Gemini 3.0 Ultra in Google's GitHub, and the AI world went crazy. 
then Google deleted it, saying it was misleading test data. Too late, screenshots were everywhere and speculation exploded. Then came the benchmarks. Some anonymous posts claimed Gemini 3.0 scored 32.4% on something called humanity's last exam. The problem? That benchmark doesn't even exist. Just made up numbers spreading like wildfire. Here's what we know. Google's release pattern is predictable. Gemini 1.0, December 2023. Gemini 2.0, December 2024. Gemini 2.5, mid-2025. So, Gemini 3.0, probably December 2025. But why leak this now? OpenAI just dominated ICPC with GPT-5 and Google needs to catch up. Classic move, leak something, test the reactions, then go silent. Was the leak real? Probably not. Is Gemini 3.0 coming? Definitely. Expect it in December 2025. And if those fake benchmarks are true, OpenAI should be worried. Google just gave AI the keys to your wallet, introducing the agent payment protocol, AP2. Now your AI can actually make purchases for you. From booking flights to ordering groceries, it uses your credit card to handle everything seamlessly. Adobe, Salesforce, Intuit and Accenture are already testing the system. The real kicker, agent to agent transactions. Your AI can negotiate with Amazon's AI for better prices, restaurant AIs can bid for your reservation and insurance AIs can adjust your premium in real time based on your driving data. AP2 will be available for enterprise partners in the first quarter of 2026. And by 2027, Google expects 30% of all online transactions to be AI initiated. By 2030, we might never see a checkout page again. The real question isn't whether AI can handle your money. It's whether you trust an algorithm that never forgets a deal, never impulse buys and never sleeps. Google just gave AI the keys to your wallet, introducing the agent payment protocol. AP2. Now your AI can actually make purchases for you. From booking flights to ordering groceries, it uses your credit card to handle everything seamlessly. Adobe, Salesforce, Intuit and Accenture are already testing the system. The real kicker? Agent to agent transactions. Your AI can negotiate with Amazon's AI for better prices, restaurant AIs can bid for your reservation and insurance AIs can adjust your premium in real time based on your driving data. AP2 will be available for enterprise partners in the first quarter of 2026. And by 2027, Google expects 30% of all online transactions to be AI initiated. By 2030, we might never see a checkout page again. The real question isn't whether AI can handle your money. It's whether you trust an algorithm that never forgets a deal, never impulse buys and never sleeps. Word Labs just turned one photo into a fully explorable 3D world. No, it's not just a depth map. It's an actual environment you can walk around in. Pretty wild, right? This is the brainchild of Fei Fei Li, the genius behind ImageNet. They've raised $230 million and are already valued at over $1 billion. Here's how it works. You upload a single photo and in real time, it creates a 3D scene you can navigate right in your browser. It's not just a flat image, it's like stepping into a new world. And it's got real physics. Everything reacts like it should. Unlike traditional photogrammetry, which needs hundreds of photos, or NEARFs that need multiple angles, World Labs only needs one. Now, it's not perfect yet. You can't walk too far and there are some minor rendering glitches, but it's an early preview. The first full product is coming. Co-founder Justin Johnson put it perfectly. Virtual worlds cost hundreds of millions. This changes that game developers, film studios, architects, they're all waiting for to get their hands on this. If you want to try the demo, head over to worldlabs.ai. OpenAI just dropped GPT-5 Codex, not a coding assistant, an autonomous engineer. This isn't just another upgrade. GPT-5 Codex is built for real-world software engineering. It scored 74.9% on the SWE Bench Verified Benchmark, outperforming previous models. In a complex refactoring task, it achieved 51.3% accuracy, a significant improvement over GPT-5's 33.9%. The standout feature? The handoff capability. Start code in VS Code, then shut down. Codex picks up where you left off, runs tests, commits to GitHub, and continues working while you sleep. You can access it through the Codex CLI IDE extension, GitHub integration, and the ChatGPT mobile app. GPT-5, Codex isn't here to replace developers, but it changes the workflow. Code while you work. Let AI finish while you sleep. The race is on. 
China just released Hanyuan 3D 3.0 free open source 3D generation with 3.6 billion voxels and 1536 cubed resolution. It's faster and more detailed than western tools and it's already being downloaded millions of times. Unlike western 3D tools that charge per model, Hanyuan 3D is free for personal use. Tencent launched Hanyuan 3D Studio, slashing workflows from days to minutes and it runs on consumer hardware. There are some limitations. Commercial use needs permission and models can be too heavy for AAA games. But Tencent's building a massive ecosystem with 90% of Chinese gaming companies using Tencent Cloud. Tencent's giving away 3D tech for free while restricting commercial rights, creating long-term dependency. Lumeray 3 just launched something huge, the world's first reasoning video model that generates studio-grade HDR footage. That means AI generated videos so realistic, they're cinema quality. No more generic low-res clips, this is the future of video creation. With Ray 3, the AI doesn't just create footage, it thinks, it critiques, refines and perfects itself, delivering realistic and consistent results every time. And with draft mode, creators can generate rough cuts five times faster, explore dozens of concepts and and then upgrade the best shots to 4K HDR. It's available now for free and dream machine, bringing Hollywood level video creation to everyone, from indie creators to major studios. Just look at some of the output people are already creating. The detail and consistency are next level. Notion just launched agents AI teammates that do everything a human can in Notion. Your agent works autonomously for 20 minutes at a time, creating documents, building databases, searching Slack and Google Drive, and executing multi-step workflows. It can even handle an entire project, creating plans, assigning time, tasks and drafting documents. Complete automation. The real game changer is memory. Give your agent your preferences and it remembers over time becoming your assistant, not just a bot. Ben Levick from Ramp says, we can now instantly spin up systems that used to take hours. 9 out of 10 Ramp employees now use Notion AI monthly. The killer feature, custom agents. Each AI teammate will handle specific tasks, customer feedback, weekly updates, IT requests. They work on autopilot, even while you sleep. Notion just crossed $500 million in annual revenue, with over 50% of customers paying for AI features. Enterprise adoption doubled and 99% of organizations are planning to deploy agents. As Akshay Kothari, co-founder of Notion, said, with 3.0, you get agents that do the work for you. This isn't just an update, it's workforce replacement. Available now for all Notion users. The age of AI co-workers has begun. Google just dropped the biggest Chrome upgrade ever and most people aren't talking about it. Sundar Pichai called it our next Chrome era. AI features powered by Gemini that completely change what a browser can do. Chrome is now your personal AI agent. Why does this matter? The browser wars just became the AI wars. Google rolled out Gemini to Chrome's 3 billion users for free. No one else has this kind of reach. Starting today, Gemini is live for Mac and Windows users in the US. It can see your entire page, clarify information and work across tabs. No extensions needed. But it gets crazier. Soon, Gemini will handle multi-step tasks autonomously. Book a haircut, it'll do it for you. Buy groceries on Instacart. Gemini does that too while you work in another tab. Gemini also remembers past pages, integrates with calendar, YouTube and maps. Ask it for a YouTube timestamp, type complex questions and get detailed answers. Plus, Gemini detects scams in real time and blocks fake virus alerts, saving you from online fraud. It's even smarter with permissions, learning what you like and block intrusive requests. And when it comes to passwords, Gemini can auto-generate and update them on supported sites with one click. This is rolling out to Google Workspace soon and it could change how businesses reach consumers. On mobile, Gemini will help you across apps, summarize pages and even act as a personal assistant. As Sundar Pichai said, Chrome isn't just displaying websites anymore, it's understanding, acting on and protecting you from them. The browser is now the operating system for AI. Every website now has an AI layer automating tasks, blocking scams and making browsing smarter. This isn't just Chrome's biggest update, it's the moment browsers became AI agents. Every week, the impossible becomes inevitable and it's only speeding up. Next week's going to be even crazier. Hit subscribe, ring the bell and join our exclusive WhatsApp community for updates you won't find on YouTube. Link in description. See you next week.